Ohio jobs are threatened by automation. That's according to a state report. But there's one kind of robot that may actually create new jobs. That's right. Reporter Dan Monk takes a closer look at the emerging role of cobots in greater Cincinnati. I've learned so many things from this lab. Wade Valerius Johnson will graduate with honors tonight from the mechatronics program at Butler Tech. He was part of a team that finished third in two national robot competitions. And he helped a Hamilton company write the software that runs this mechanical arm. Just looking around the room, there's, there's so many things to learn. And that made him a target of corporate recruiters. I have a job lined up at Procter & Gamble. I could have 110% job placement right now with students that know uh, robotics programming skills. Let Mr. Sperna tell you about what goes on up there. David Campbell has been teaching those skills for 26 years. These kids are absolutely employable when they graduate from this program with those skills. One major factor driving the trend, cobots. A cobot is a collaborative robot that is designed to work next to or interact with a human being safely. Spending on robotics jumped 28% last year thanks to the pandemic and labor shortages that followed. 21 was a record year. We're seeing that continue into 2022. Jeff Bernstein is president of the Association for Advancing Automation, a Michigan-based trade group. You couldn't get people to come into work. I mean, how were you going to keep productivity up and uh, fulfill all the orders that people were placing online if you weren't automating. Cobots are accelerating the use of automation as companies find new ways to use machines to check construction sites, monitor crops, and deep fry some wings. The promise of collaborative robots, okay, is that they're easier to use, you can get them up and running more quickly, you don't need internal engineering resources, and that they're safe. Cobots are catching on in industries not known for automation, including restaurants, like this Skyline Chili franchise in Fairfield. I'm interested in automation if it can help us. Robin Curlis leases a cobot named Servi from California-based Bear Robotics. Its website quotes the cost at about $1,000 a month. I know this is novel and, it, and it's fun, but it's also functional. We can put the food on Servi and we can carry it all at once. That way we don't have to go like run back and forth or they're yelling at us like, hey, you have more food up. Back at Butler Tech, Campbell is working to expand his program to the Spooky Nook Sports Complex in Hamilton. We could easily place 75 to 100 workers every single year in industry uh, directly related to robotics, cobots, and uh, automation. And one of P&G's newest employees is thinking about college. Someday. I don't want to go off and get into a bunch of debt and spend a whole bunch of money on something I might not use. So instead, I opted to go with a company who has tuition reimbursement, who can pay for it if I want to use a college degree to further my career. In Fairfield Township, Dan Monk, WCPO 9 News.